Uh, joining us now to take a look at the safety of VIPs, we are being joined by Captain Rajiv Chauhan here. He's a helicopter pilot who's flown something like five prime ministers, I understand, and three presidents, so you really know what it actually takes. Uh, we'll just come to you in a second. Uh, um, and we're also being joined by Rajiv Pratap Rudi, former civil aviation uh, minister, and he's also been, of course, a commercial pilot himself. And we are being joined by the spokesperson of the Arunachal uh, Pradesh government, Mr. Jarbal Gamlin. And, and sir, I just want to start with you first there in, in, uh, in Itanagar. Could you just tell us the very latest out there, what efforts are being made to, to get the bodies uh, back to Itanagar, and, and what, what are you expecting to happen there now? Yes, we have requested the family members uh, to allow us to bring the body to Itanagar for a day for the public of Arunachal to pay their last homage. And the details of what exactly happened in this crash and what occurred, uh, are you going to be setting up an inquiry to do that? Uh, that we have discussed today and very soon we are planning to call a cabinet meeting and institute an inquiry commission. Right. Mr. Kamlin, Arunachal Pradesh, in a sense, has gone, already gone through a trauma of four or five days of not knowing what exactly to happen. It's, of course, a very sensitive state. Do you think there could be a fear of a certain sense of political vacuum uh, uh, till, till somebody else is appointed? Uh, for the last five days, we are all hoping that he's alive and he'll come back. So we never felt the vacuum. But now that the reality has dawned on us, it will be the high command who will decide uh, the next leadership or maybe the high command will ask for a CLP to be convened and the CLP will decide the leadership. All right, Mr. Kamlin, thank you so much for joining us there uh, from Arunachal Pradesh and really all of us, our thoughts are with the people of Arunachal Pradesh on this extremely, extremely sad day. Uh, Rajiv Pratap Rudi and Rajiv Chauhan, now I just want to turn to the questions of, of safety and, and security. We've had the parliament and we've had a, a standing committee really saying that sometimes too much pressure is put on helicopter fire pilots to fly in areas and in, in weather conditions which are not safe. Have you faced that pressure, pressure ever yourself, Mr. Chauhan? Yes, this kind of pressure does come from... Uh the leaders who have certain urgent meetings to attend or certain political compulsions may be there, maybe election meeting to attend or to address in a zone where they expect a lot of votes to come to them. So they do pressurize, but in the end, it is the pilot with his experience who says that, sir, beyond this weather, I cannot go. Or it is beyond my limitations. And at the end of the day, can the pilot exercise the veto power and say, I will refuse to yes. fly? Yes. Normally, the, all the politicians, they listen to the pilot because their own life is at stake. Okay. along with the pilot's life. So they do listen to him. Rajiv Pratap, Rudy, this is not, of course, the first awful tragedy like this. Uh, you know, YSR died just a, just a couple of years back before that. A number of other crashes, tragedies have taken place. What do you think can actually be done to try and make VIP safety a bit better in choppers and, you know, chartered flights like this? Let's, let's put it the other way around. And uh, the gentleman who is there, uh, Rajiv Chauhan, is a very senior pilot with helicopters. He has flown the MI-8s. And I have known him since he flew the Prime Minister, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and there on. And there are many pilots. But one thing I would like to clear, all such incidents are accidents and they are mishap. No one does this by a choice. Between a fixed-wing aircraft and a helicopter, helicopters are certainly more... Uh, unstable as, as, an, uh, as an air worthy uh, object and in that situation to presume that the Rajiv was there with me in recent elections in Bihar and he was flying the same helicopter which crashed in Arunachal Pradesh. It is supposed to be one of the finest helicopters and as he said that there are situations when, cap uh, when passengers or VIPs or big wigs try to persuade the captains to land but the final call is at the captain because he is his life and the life of the passengers which is at stake. So I don't think any captain would like to venture out in a situation which is risky. When you talk about the Northeast in particular, and Rajiv will confirm that, this particular pre-monsoon season is the worst for all aviation pilots. All, all, all pilots know okay. that this, this time of the year it is the worst. So to say that the, there should be more stricter regulations, I think uh, there can't be more stricter regulations because the captains are 
more disciplined. And in, in helicopter pilots, it is said that you cannot have bold and old pilots because if you become very bold being a helicopter pilot, so you, you will not survive to live long. Okay, there's, there's so, some so issues. The as, as Rajiv was saying, you've flown this particular chopper uh, on a number of occasions. Is there a problem with single engine choppers? I mean, something like 33 out of 54 accidents have actually been single engine helicopters. Uh, single engine helicopters, by per se, the engines which are being made nowadays, the present technology, the technology is so advanced that for the engine to fail, the chance is almost not there, you can say. One in a million chance. So the safety of a twin engine over a single engine, it is a debatable issue. Okay. We Raj can go on debating Rajiv, on do, you, do you agree with that? That it, it's not that he was flying a, a wrong chopper and there's no big difference between single engine and twin engine? Absolutely. And everyone must know that uh, there is absolutely no difference between a single propeller aircraft or a single uh, engine aircraft and there could but, be as you say Rajiv, Rajiv, says, it could be you, but that's the DGCA and the panel now seems to be make, make, almost passing a diktat that you have to only use twin engine choppers or, or planes for VIPs well in that case yes I'm aware of for the VVIPs there is a provision that the aircrafts must have flown for 500 even they don't allow new aircrafts to okay. take a VVIP it should have flown 500 hours where everything stabilizes so there are uh, parameters, there are indicators, but nowhere in the world there is anything to say that a single engine helicopter is more safer than a double engine. I think it is something which okay. is which which uh, which cannot be claimed as such. And I uh, think both the helicopters, even a small R44, which is uh, a piston engine, is equally safe. It is it has just two propellers. So I don't think so. It's a mishap. It's an incident. It's an accident. It is sad to lose pilots. It's sad to lose passengers. We lost right. Bal Yogi as the speaker of the. We, I must tell you, we lost Bal Yogi as the speaker of the Lok Sabha. We lost Raj Shekhar Reddy. We lost Surinder Singh and Mr. O P Jindal, Naveen's father, uh, in, in in similar accidents. So these the are accidents, basically. All right, uh, Rajiv Pratap Rudi, Rajiv Chauhan, thank you both so much for joining us to thank give you. some perspective to what's been a really tragic day, ending four or five rather tragic days. NDTV's Cricket App, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.